Good morning, guys. Welcome. Welcome to another home workout. I think this is number 43. I can't believe we've done 43 workouts. So, hmm, be drinking more water. Um, today, we're going to have a really nice workout. Uh, it's going to be in the chair and in standing. We're going to work the hips, stability, and what you'll need today, and I'm putting this in the uh, post, you can see the equipment. You'll need a chair. You will need a lightweight if you have it. You don't have to have it. And ideally, you also have a looped band. So three pieces of equipment today, a chair, a lightweight, and a looped band. So try to have those available. And what we're gonna start out with today is just a bit of education. Um, I'm really big on posture, as, as many of you probably can tell by now. Um, it's, it's hard to be out of pain if you are in a bad posture. Um, so what I'm always teaching uh, my patients and you know but back when I was a coach and coaching people in the gym is um, this understanding of a bad position and a good position show me bad show me good show me bad show me good and when you understand what good looks like and what bad looks like really what it feels like it's a lot easier for you to create awareness around those good positions and make those your norms instead of a bad position because oftentimes we have bad posture either in sitting and standing, and we don't really pay attention to it, so we don't have the awareness. But if you have the awareness of what bad looks like and good, it's a lot easier. So we're gonna actually start off today with a bit of education. So let's go ahead and go to a standing position with me. And let's, let's, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So in a standing position, where people tend to go wrong is they can often put one foot to the side, they tend to lean, lean to one side, they tend to slouch, they tend to over arch, right? And you may have any one of those things, right? Um, what I want you to do is just in a standing position, sh go ahead and show yourself, kind of, kind of pretend like you're showing me your bad standing posture, right? So just show me, this is mine right here. Kind of leaning on my left side, leaning to the left, kind of right shoulders forward a little bit and I kind of slouch on one side. So show me bad, show me your bad standing posture. Now. Let's show ourselves a good standing posture. So, so feet directly under the hips. Pretend like your feet are on plates and you're screwing your feet in the ground in this direction. You're creating external rotation. Keep the legs straight. Lock the glutes. Bring your hands to your belly, elbows to the side. Lock your glutes. Now hands to the side. That's good. Okay, this is the good position. Remember this. And now, show me bad. Show me good, show me bad, show me good, show me bad, show me good. Let's do it from the side, show me bad, show me good, show me bad, show me good. Let's do two more, show me bad, show me good. Show me bad, show me good. Excellent, now let's do it on the chair. So in the chair, where people tend to go wrong is they tend to slouch, right, right here. Or they tend to lean to the side, like this right here, right, this is a classic one people get on the couch, right? So same thing here, show me bad, show me good. Show me bad, show me good. Show me bad, show me good, show me bad, show me good, show me bad, show me good. One more, show me bad, show me good. Okay, so that is a little mantra you can keep saying to yourself all the time. I do this to Brenda all the time because we're walking around the lake and sometimes we're walking around the lake and Brenda will kind of be walking like this, right? Like, like kind of slouching. And we'll practice going around the lake as we walk, show me bad, show me good. We'll practice while we're cooking in the kitchen, you know, even when you're standing there, show me bad, show me good. And it helps keep you aware of what a good posture is. So often our back hurts and our neck hurts and our hip hurts and our knees hurt 
because we're, we're putting ourselves in really bad positions. And we can do all the exercises we want right here every single day. But if we don't integrate these good practices, these good movement patterns, these good positions into our daily life, it won't make a difference, right? So what, what we're trying to do here is retrain the nervous system more than anything else. And when that happens, you learn a new way of being. You put yourself in a good position, everything in your body starts to change. Your hormones, your physiology, not only the alignment, but everything starts to get better. Like there's so many studies on this, so it's really important. And I just wanted to have that bit of education today so you guys stay on top of it, okay? How was that for you? All right, so remember, the equipment today is a chair, a looped man, and a very light weight. We're gonna go to the chair first. We're gonna work on our neck and shoulders and mid-back, okay? Just to open up, it's gonna be really good for your posture. All right, so let's go ahead and go on back. And in the chair here, first thing we're gonna do this first few rounds is just a cervical retraction. You guys have done this. This is to fix the forward head. So sitting up nice and tall, make sure you're in a chair where your hips are above your knees. You can put a cushion under your chair if you need to. But go ahead and sit up You can get on the edge of the chair with the chin parallel to the ground. Go ahead and retract back as far as you can and then go back to neutral. Retract back as far as you can and then go back to neutral. You're not looking down. You're not looking up. You're looking straight forward and just retracting your vertebrae back one behind the other, staying really tall. And go to your end range. You may not go as far as I do. That's okay. Just relax. Push your chin backwards. This is great for decreasing neck pain, any herniated bulging disc in the neck. It can be very effective for if you have any radiating pain down the arms. This is great to go to. You've been sitting long, driving long, neck aches. This is the one you want to go to, okay? And now, let's do our uh, thoracic extension. So hands behind the head, elbows forward, and squeeze up, 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 back down, Whew. one. Squeeze up, 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 and exhale, two. Whew. Three, opening up that mid-back, four. Try to go further and further every time, five. Try to get the elbows all the way to the ceiling. Six. Seven. Interlocking the hand, the fingers behind the head. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Now let's do shoulder shrugs. So taking the shoulders. Remember, sitting up nice and tall. Squeeze the shoulders towards the ears and hold. Two, three, four, five. Pinch the shoulders together. Two, three, four, five. Relax. That's one. Squeeze up hard. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Four, five. Pinch them together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Harder, harder, harder. Two, up. Two, three, four, five. Back. Two, three, four, five, three. Up. Two, three, four, five. Pinch them together, two, three, four, five, four. Up, two, three, four, five. Pinch them together, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're gonna do the cervical retractions with an extension. So watch me here in this first rep. We're gonna retract back as far as we can and then flip up. And then back to neutral, okay? Now try it with me. Retracting back, flipping up, and back to neutral. Retracting back, flipping up, back to neutral. Retracting back, flipping up, back to neutral. Make sure you stay tall and up, back to neutral. This fixes that forward head. You may not go as far as I do, that's okay. Just go to your end range. You'll notice over time it improves. One more. Okay, hands behind the head, thoracic extensions again. Interlocking the fingers, elbows forward, taking the elbows up, 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 up. 
and down. And up, 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 and down. Remember to exhale as you take the elbows up. Stay tall. Go as far as you can. Really feel that mid-back extending. Try not to extend the low back. It's all in the mid-back, the mid to upper back. Try to go further every time. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. Up, up, up. Two more. One. Last one. Two. Excellent. Now, shoulder shrugs again. Sitting up nice and tall. Hips above the knees. Shoulders to the ear. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Three, four, five. Pinch it together. Squeeze hard, squeeze hard, squeeze hard. Four, five. One, up, two, three, four, five, back, two, three, four, five, two, up, two, three, four, five, back, two, three, four, five, three. Really up to our ears to the shoulders, up, 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 four, five, pinch the shoulder blades hard, two, three, four, five, one more, up, two, three, four, five, pinch together, two, three, four, five, rest, good, shake it out now, I'm going to do one more round of cervical retractions here with extension, so keep the chin parallel to the ground, remember you're not looking down, you're not looking up, it is straight back, okay, make sure you're nice and tall, retracting back, extending, Push, push, good, one, retracting back, extending, back gently, retracting back, extending, three, retracting back, extending, four, retracting back, extending, five, good, let's go ahead and stop there. And then let's do the hands behind the head, elbows forward with thoracic extension. And go ahead and exhale up, 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 up. One. Two. Three. Good. Remember to exhale as you take the elbows up to the ceiling. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Try to go further every time. Elbows all the way to the ceiling. Try to look up and go on the other way, fixing that slouch posture, fixing those internally rotated shoulders, fixing those knots in the upper back, putting your body in a better position, getting you taller, more powerful, stronger, more confident. Consistency, that's what you're doing. You're showing up every day, you're changing your body in every which way. One more. Good. Shoulder shrugs, last round. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders towards the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, hold, 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 hold. Harder, harder. Three, four, five. Pinch them together. Squeeze, two, three, four, five. Rest. And up, two, three, four, five. Pinch them together. Two, three, four, five. Rest. And up, two, Three, four, five, pinch them together. Two, three, four, five, rest. Two more. Up, two, three, four, five, pinch them together. Two, three, four, five, rest. Up, two, three, four, five, pinch them together. Two, three, four, five, and rest. Whew. You should feel a lot of warmth, a lot of heat right around there in the shoulders. But that routine right there, you could just do that one routine that could completely transform your posture like in one week. You just got to stay consistent and feel it. So really good job, guys. So now let's get to more of the workout portion of this workout. <laughs> and we're going to need the band. 
the weight, if you have it, if you have it. You don't need both these, but if you have them, that's, that's good. And a chair, okay? We're gonna do some sit to stands. You know, I'm hitting on that hard lately. Um, some monster walks, some Indian squats, which I love, and some bent over pools just to get some strength in the back there, okay? Sound good? All right, so I'm gonna go to the chair. You guys join me on the chair. Have your band, have your weight next to you. If you can, loop the band around your knees, okay? Let's go ahead and go here. All right, make sure you guys see me okay. So we're gonna take the band, loop it around the feet, put it around your knees, and hold the weight right under your, your chest here. And remember, if the chair, you're using a chair height that is appropriate for you, right? Some of you may need to put some pillows under your chair such that you can have perfect form, okay? Some of you could maybe even go lower with, with no chair at all. But if your form is perfect, that's, go, that's good. You can go for it. But if you need to, put pillows under your chair such that your form is perfect. Everybody can do this. Doesn't matter if you're 80 or eight or 18, everybody needs to learn sit to stand, the simple uh, movement of squatting, okay? So we're gonna do 15 sit to stands. Once your hips just wider than the feet, toes slightly pointed out, knees in line with the second toe, weight, if you have it, under the chin, you're gonna lean forward, stand up, keeping the knees in line with the second toe. Lean forward, stand up, and down slow. Think about a three second down. Up, one, two, three. Wanna avoid plopping down. Up, one, two, three. Keep the weight balanced in your feet. If anything, the weight is in the back third of your feet. Make sure the chest is up and forward. Keep the knees in line with the second toe. That band is helping you activate the external rotators of your hip, which keeps the hip stable, keeps the whole pelvis stable, keeps your back and your knees in a better position. Knee pain is often the result of a poor movement pattern, a weak hip, and a lack of mobility in the hip, and lack of mobility in the ankle. It's not just about the knee. It's always about the joints above and below. So remember, balance in the feet. Let's do two more. Up, down, slow. Up, down, slow. Okay, so now we're gonna stand up. Go ahead and put the band around your ankles, okay? Grab your weight. And what we're gonna do now are side monster walks, okay? So in this position here, Go ahead and take your time. Toes are pointed forward, weights just under the chin. Keep your body forward. You're gonna do side steps. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Make sure the toes stay forward. You have a slight dip in your knees, slight dip in your hips. And this right here is really working a lot of things. <laughs> and you can feel it. You're gonna feel a nice little burn in there. This is working those abductors, the glute medius. Remember, I'm real big on waking that butt up, waking those gluteals up. Stronger glutes means a more stable pelvis, better back, better hip, better knees. One more. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Very good, guys. Now we're gonna do Indian squats. Haven't done these in a while. So what you're gonna do from the side here, you're gonna 
arms up and you inhale exhale as you go back around you palms face down inhale as the arms come up exhale as the arms go down slight dip feet are directly under the hips toes foreign pointed forward Two more. Good. Now we're going to do bent over pulls. So in this position here, think about bending the hip, leaning forward with the arms, and you're going to pull one arm up, one arm down, elbows stay straight, then the other arm. One, two, three, four. Big reaches. Really move that thoracic spine. Get the mobility in the shoulder blades. So good for releasing tension in the upper back, activating those muscles that keep you up, that hold up your posture. Good to release the low back. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good, going back to the chair for round two. You guys are doing great. You're doing so awesome. I love that we're able to do more now. So loop the band around your feet again. Get the weight close to you. Okay. Hold the weight under your chin right here. I'm going to wait for you to get ready a little bit. Feet just wider than the hips. Toes slightly pointed out. Knees stay in line with that second toe. Holding that weight right under your chin. Leaning forward. Standing up. One, down slow. Good. Two, down slow. Three, down slow. Four, keep the knees in line with the second toe. Remember balance in the feet. Keep the weight on the back third of the foot. Keep that knee activated. Keep the glute activated. Knees in line with the second toe, chest up. Slow on the way down. See if you can minimize the plopping. Can you eliminate the plopping? That's where you want to be. Controlled movements. You're getting stronger every time you do this. You never want to lose the ability to get up and out of a chair, up and out of your bed, out from the couch, up and out of your car. This is one of the most important movements you could ever do. That's why we practice it a lot and work on mastering this movement. You master this movement, all the other movements start to get a lot easier. Good. Lean forward, stand up. Knees stay in line with the second toe. Chest up. Two more. One. Two. Good. Going back to the monster walks. Putting the, the loop around your ankles. I'm going to go on lateral here. So from the side, you guys got this. Slight dip. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Toes stay forward. Small steps. Keep the tension on the band. Don't let the feet come together. That way you keep those active hips. That's what we're going for here. You strengthen up your hips when you're walking. The hip dips left less when you're walking, right? So a lot of people when they're walking with their right foot, the right foot's on the ground, that left hip will drop. It's because of a weak right hip. Same thing on the other side. So what we're doing here is strengthening that hip so when you're walking, your pelvis is more level, which is better for your back and better for your knees. Makes you stronger. That's why we keep doing this exercise over and over and over again. It's all about consistency. Four, 
five, one, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. 20 Indian squats now. Remember, it's all about the breath. Feet just under the hips. Okay? And we're inhaling, exhaling. Really exhaling as you come down with that dip. Inhaling as you come up. Do a comfortable dip. You don't have to dip low. Just a nice, easy, comfortable dip. Just moving those arms behind you, in front of you, behind you, and in front of you. Make it a circle. Make it a nice circle. Kind of let them swing forward as they pull back naturally. Into the nose, out to the mouth. Into the nose, out to the mouth. Two more. Good. And now let's do our bent over pulls. So chopping the hips, bending forward, arms out. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six. Real big reaches, really twist and pull that upper spine. Really get the movement and the posture. We gotta get blood to those muscles in the upper back. Gotta contract and relax them. Contract and relax them. Two more. Okay, good job guys. Third round, you're doing great, you're doing great. I know your body's hot now. <laughs> You're doing good, guys. Now, remember, always with the last rounds, the focus is trying to get the best round, make it, make it the last. You want to get better as you go, not get weaker, okay? So make the best round the last round. Always quality. So band around the knees, feet just wider than the hips, toes slightly pointed out, knees in line with the second toe, weight under your chest. Let's make them perfect. Lean forward, stand up. One, down slow. Lean forward, up, down slow. Two, lean forward, up, down slow. Three, lean forward, up, down slow. Good, keep it going. Chest stays up. Breathe easy with this one. We're going three seconds down. So that means you kind of want to breathe on demand. Inhale and exhale, exhale in and out of your mouth on demand. Sometimes you might be inhaling as you go up. Sometimes you might be inhaling as you go down. Just find the right rhythm where your body matches the demand of the movement. Feet just wider than the hips. Keep those knees in line with the second toe. Keep that chest up. Keep the weight on the back third of your feet. Right? You're driving through the heels, not leaning forward on the toes. It's all about alignment and position. Let's do three more guys, doing good. One, last three, best three, last three, best three. Two, three, all right. Putting the weight down, band around the ankles again. Last round of monster walks. Remember, feet are gonna be forward. Keep the tension on the band. I'm gonna wait for you guys to get here. Okay, best round, last round, okay? Small steps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, 
Toes stay forward. Keep them forward. That way we keep working the hip. We're not working the hip flexors or the quads. We're working the hip abductors. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's do one more and be strong. There you go, guys. No faces, no angry faces, no hurt faces. Make a strong face. Show me bad, show me good, show me good. There we go, all right. Indian squats. Last round, we're breathing now, at least I am. Okay, guys. Remember, throwing the arms forward, let them come back in a big circle. Exhaling as they go forward and down. Inhaling as they come up. Okay, bent over pulls, chopping the hip, bending over, exhaling as you reach each time, okay? So, elbows stay soft, relatively straight. The movement is coming from rotating the upper back, okay? Just kind of like you're holding little balls, not letting them fall. One arm up, one arm down. Good, and slowly come out of this. Up, 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 up. And we're gonna cool down now with two rounds of 10 holding up heavens, three pressing down earth, okay? All right, now we're taking the hands, taking the hands, pull them in, go up to the ceiling, and it's a sniff and, sniff and lift, so. Coming back and exhaling. Sniff, inhale, coming back and exhaling through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. The feet are directly under the hips, toes forward. Your chest stays forward, you're not rotating. Stay face forward. This is a great lengthening to the ascending and descending colon. Good stretching of the nerves, the forearm getting extension in the wrist. So it's great for improving any carpal tunnel and pre preventing carpal tunnel type, type syndromes. If I can get my words out today. <laughs> Good, guys. Good. Now we're going to bring the hands together and come down, facing the floor. Imagine a half circle around you, and you're bouncing. Imagine a ball between your thigh and your stomach. You're just doing soft little bounces as you go around. Gentle release to the back. Still getting a nice stretch to the extensors. On the, extent, on the flexors, really, but you're extending the wrist, opening up the forearm, releasing the low back. Good. Let's do one more round there and back. Remember, breathe easy here. This is about letting go, calming down your body. We're going to come up, bring the hands up, come up slowly, 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 taking the hands back to the ceiling here again and we're sniffing and lifting. Good, bringing the hands back together, bending, small half circles. Boom, boom, nice and easy. All the way there, all the way back. 
nice gentle circles good all the way there all the way back remember that ball that's just bouncing you're just bouncing over between your thigh and your stomach breathing easy this is the last one there and back so really calm down the breath all the way there all the way back and when you're done here come up nice and easy remember we're going to be curling up nice easy okay we're going to do 10 breaths together you can stay standing if you like so let's go ahead and inhale through the nose out through the mouth in through the nose out through the mouth inhale exhale inhale exhale now keep it in the nose inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now inhale and hold exhale one more inhale and hold exhale all right guys so how was that for you please check in let me know how how you were before how you were after on a scale of one to ten um, that's always super helpful for me um, you guys did absolutely amazing we had a lot of you show up today if you if you joined us say for the first time thank you for joining us uh, this is a workout course we do every day monday through friday um, we have a 9 a.m breathing course at 9 30 a.m central time uh, workout course and all of these videos are archived in the unit section so you can always go back there um, and, and do a workout if you are not able to join us in live time we have everything already there for you so thank you guys so much have a nice little quote for you today from our friend um, <laughs> legendary Michael Jordan I've been watching the last dance documentary lately and it's so good it's about the, the bulls and the, their era and the legacy um, so I have a lot of appreciation for his level of excellence and the quote is, some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, others make it happen. I think that's really important. A lot of people want to get healthy, a lot of people wish they could get healthy and they could get out of pain, but they don't actually take any action, you know? And, and this, this mindset of this conventional healthcare system, which is, let's just treat symptoms, let's just give you a pill, let's just numb it for you, does not work. You have to, you have to make healthy happen. You have to eat good food, you have to do the movements you have to do the breathing and make these things a habit and then healthy becomes easy so you have to make it happen and i know you guys are doing that i just want to keep encouraging you to stay on the path that's the native path okay guys so thank you so much thank you for your feedback and i will see you tomorrow okay bye bye <laughs>